Oh, hey, bro. Hey, come here, bro. Come here. Hey, hey. Come here. hey, come, come, come. I got a quick. Hey, bro, you watching? I got a quick question for you, bro. I got a quick question. What's the best pendulum deck going second? Hey, hey, one more question. Hey, what's the best pendulum deck going first? Hey, hey, one more question. What's the best pendulum deck for hand traps? Uh, hey, one last question. What's the most consistent pendulum deck? <laughs> hey, shut the hell up. So I'll tell you what the deck is. Read the title. Very rarely do you find a variant of a deck that is number one in all four of these categories. But it is this one. The way it is built, the plus cards in the deck, how it can play through hand traps, how it can play through interruptions, how your opponent doesn't see anything coming, how it is filled with so much bombs that just obliterate your opponent. Thank Fully that you're playing 60 cards. If you're playing the 60, 40 is incorrect, which I'll explain as well in the video why you must play 60 cards without question whatsoever. The, the, I'll explain everything against this theory and everything for this theory and prove why I'm correct in this video. Hit the subscribe button, guys, if you are new to the channel, or if you're not new to the channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, just subscribe, bro. Please, thanks. This I'm doing this video because I promise you guys, at 17,500 subscribers, I'll be releasing my Orcas Pendulum list. Obviously, it's different without Rusty, but the banning of Rusty held pendulums. It is the same amount of negates with three less bricks in the deck. There is little to no bricks now, and it is absolutely gorgeous. Hit the subscribe button. At 18,000, I'll be releasing my Klee deck profile. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Orcas Pendulum, best deck, man. Y'all thought I was playing? I'm gonna show you right now just why it is the best in all four categories I mentioned. Now, you look at this head. Every hand looks like this. Every hand looks like this. I'll get to why you need to play 60 over 40. I'm telling you, in a weird ass, complex, triff math type of way, like big brain, oh, you got a whole other level way, 60 in Pendulum is more consistent than 40. I am telling you, you just assort the cards more and you have much higher of a chance to draw different scales. Low scales, high scales, you're not gonna draw two Pendulum calls because they're so assorted, they're 60. You're not gonna draw your Gazers, even though I just drew one. Gate zero, you know, you need to play these type of cards. You need to play double or nothing, double TK going second. This is not debatable. You need to play double or nothing going second. You need to play certain cards going second. You need to play Destrudo. You need to play Orca's combo. You need to play these cards because going second versus hand traps is just better. When you play by yourself and draw a hand, you look at Orca's card and you're like, oh, Orca's card, I brick. No, you didn't brick, you just suck. Like, you just pendulum some an Orcus card. It just becomes, it's like drawing a Pendulum Magician. The Pendulum Magician is a Garnet, it does nothing. Like, a normal Magician deck that you guys play has like 30 Garnets in my opinion. Like, anything that's not a Turbo card that does something is a brick. Like, it does nothing for you. How are you gonna clear a board of four interruptions? With this board deck, because you have so many plus cards, Kepler's a plus three, Abductor, like you play 40 spells in the deck, Kepler gives it two spells. You got nine cards that need counters. Like, it's not even debatable. You need to play this list card for card. It's been tested. I am Gordon Ramsay when it comes to this deck. Like, you don't tell me how to cook this, how to make a steak. You don't tell me how to make a steak. I'm, I'm with the Gordon Ramsay of this. You don't play a pendulum deck different than card for card my exact list. So play it card for card. This is the new Orcas combo, but DDs are absolutely necessary. I should have played it even before. This is a new combo tutorial. Let's get it. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. 18,000, I released my Klee deck profile. And 18,500, oh, a crazy list. Anyways, let's go. We're gonna do this little by little. You do Into the Void first because in case they have Droll, right? Now let's say they drolled me here. A lot of people are saying, oh, Droll, you lose to Droll, you lose to Droll. What the hell does Droll do? You play fucking Orcus, right? That's also why you play Dragon Ravine. It's like, it, it, just in case you had a Dark Orb, now if you had a Destrudo, if you had a Destrudo, now Destrudo will get you, Destrudo will get you like the extra card you need to Orcus combo. You play Orcus combo because of Droll. Now, draw is nothing. You just Orcus combo them under draw. It doesn't matter. Now, in this situation, if they drawed you in this situation, you ravine, you pitch anything you want, pitch a spell card because you can't draw, and then you just normal summon Electro. You're good. You're, you're totally good. And then even if you're, you just go Orcus combo too, like, it's, bro, it's, like, I had enough of this, like, garbage players. They can't play through draw or nothing. Anyways, uh, I'm going to show you guys just a new combo tutorial in general, and you're going to see just how plus it is. Like, what hand are we going to use here? Ash? Valor? Ogre? Like, Anything you have doesn't matter. Like, it really doesn't matter at all. Like, you could hand trap, you could have four hand traps. I'm um, still good. Like, that's just how plus you are. Because, like, uh, before I said, before, I, by the way, before you send uh, Servant with Electrum in this situation, because Servant's gonna resolve its effect too, add Chrono with Abductor. That way, if they uh, go, go stronger the Electrum, you get the special Chrono and, and something and get yourself uh, the Beat Cop if you want. Anyways, we're gonna keep going here. 
Right, look, look at that. Like, it's gonna keep going. You just plus like crazy. You're literally saving the lines for that. Look at this. Like, this is like, I can't stress how good this deck is. I know I'm playing by myself here, but it's, just, it's really just to show you guys a combo tutorial. Normally, you just like blitzkrieg through any hand trap. Look at this. Like, like, I'll do other videos playing through two hand traps, 100 hands in a row, and all 100 of them are gonna have multiple interruptions. Uh, so over here, you, you we're gonna save the pendulum call. Doesn't matter. Like, we're just gonna lose card. We're gonna, like, we're so plus at this situation, like, it's un unreal. Now, look, now it's like, you don't, like, you don't even need to worry about levels because you're playing a good deck here, right? So you're gonna go seal. Now, here's where the new combo goes in. You go into Nightmare Phoenix over here. You go into Nightmare, now you just do the whole combo. Like, it's just so damn easy. It's unbelievable. Like, you're gonna also save the Demia to summon to the end board. Like, it's just a new combo. Now, here's where it goes use Nightmare, and then Nightmare Effect, Horror, Horror, Skeleton, Galatea, bring out Babel. Babel's way better than Crescendo. I'm telling you right now. Langirsu, that's a new play. Langirsu then the Gearsu. Amazing, amazing. I summon out the big boy and Demion. Pop me in the Dingirsu. That way you don't even gotta waste your Desudo. Save your Desudo for next turn. And just like that, you have one, two, three, four, five, six interruptions. Th like three negates. Uh and then three stuff that don't target. Like that's absolutely insane. Like three stuff that don't target. Three sends. Send to grave. Send to send to yeah, sent the grave, sent the grave, sent the grave. Like, that's, sorry, sent the hand, sent the grave, sent the grave. That's insane. That's insane. You have three non-targeting sends and three negates. That's six negate, six interruptions in total that are amazing. Your follow-up is a plus one from contract, a uh, pen call, whatever you get from contract, and you're gonna draw. You're gonna have like, look, and you're gonna get the babble and your orcas. You're gonna recycle the entire orcas and will be recycled thanks to Longirsu. Like, that's absolutely insane, bro. Like, it's actually stupid. It's absolutely insane. Like, I don't care what anyone says. This deck is absolutely nuts, man. The deck's actually nuts. Like, and this is just an average hand too. The hand was completely average. And it's just, the beauty of it is plays through hand traps like nothing. And going second, it plays through interruptions like nothing. Now, oh, so much searching, so much searching. That's why you play workouts, bro. Now if you get drolled, like what? You need to, if your deck doesn't search, your deck is shit. Like you need to play cards like this anyways, or else you're playing a shit deck. What, you're just not gonna play abductor or servant? That's what, that's uh, absolutely stupid. This is the deck profile, okay? You need to play a card for card. It just, Absolutely insane how it goes. You need it, the best going second, the best first interruption. And I'll show you guys more videos in the future of it because this is my deck now. This is my best deck like I could possibly play. So with that being said, you're gonna see lots of videos. Hundred hands in a row. Hundred hands in a row versus hand traps. I'm gonna destroy every one of them. Like hundred hands versus meta boards. Like boards mean nothing. Like I got this because you play double or nothing. Like you just bait everything with I like pendulum stuff. You play so many level fours in the deck. It's unreal. And this pseudo could be a level four if you really want to so easily. And you just destroy them. Or you play cards like Yazi, Boral Sword, just so easy. The Orcas cards, you pop something with Dengirsu, you send something with Langirsu. You just send their entire field away and just win. Like, I don't understand. People, like, they're not bricks. Like, you draw Nightmare Horror, they're, they're the best cards in the deck to hard draw. They're the best cards in the deck to hard draw. If you draw a Skeleton, you just Pendulum Summon it. If you draw a Babel, you pop it with Electrum. And if Electrum's effects are interrupted, who cares? You just save it for a discard with Mermaid. Mermaid needs one card to discard. You're allowed one brick. You're allowed one brick in your hand. If you draw double or nothing, Babel or Skeleton, you just save it in your hand and discard it. Everything else is great to draw. Rusty being bad helped the deck. Because now there's literally like almost no bricks whatsoever. Like drawing, drawing any of these are amazing. Drawing the spells are amazing. You play 40 spells. Because look, so this is 28. Kepler is 31. Chrono got 34. Razor 37, all those leave the scale. It's absolutely insane. Anyways, three Servant, three Abductor, three Chrono, three Razor. We play Razor now, you must. I I'm telling you, you just have to. If you don't open one of these uh, Foolishes or Curtain Razors, your hand is just so subpar compared to how it is normally. A Curtain Razor in conjunction with Servant or Abductor is huge. It's absolutely huge. And going second, never discredit the ability of Razor to be 2200 attack. You could Special Razor for free, attack into a seal, They'll bounce it or whatever it may be. And now just like that, you have foolish to use, you know, like, or you destroy something. Like, Curtain Razor is 100% fantastic to have, okay? Take it, play it, it's great. Triple Kepler is the best card in the deck. After double or nothing, it's the best card in the deck. It's a plus three, the way you resolve it. Two spells for your nine servant slash abductors, because of mastery. It's absolutely amazing. Gate zero is mostly your low scale. Servant or abductor is mostly your low skill. Your low skills, you always have your low skill. You have eight, ten, ten ways in the dark room, abductor, servant, plus all the pendulum calls. You have like 30 low skills. You always got low skills. What Kepler also does, it gets you a high skill in Thomas. You never pendulum summon level sevens anymore. You don't make absolute. And in normal pendulums, you or ogre, veiler, impermanence, ash, their LP, and they're level one boral savage and pass. Like, <laughs> that's a, absolutely a joke. If you interrupt my if you interrupt my LP, I don't give a shit whatsoever. I just orcas combo you after with my infinite negates on top. 
Like, this is not even negotiable. The small Pendulum Engine. Pendulum Magician's brick. They brick. Don't play them. Two Harmonizing, one Oath, one Pit. They're necessary. I, if people play, don't play Oath. You're absolutely stupid. Dragon Caller. This would guard dragons is insane. Too many times I'll dragon color and scale and make my orcas guard uh, my orcas dragons. And I go into Brawl Sword as well instead of the seal. Like it, it's insane. Like the stuff you can do with dragon color is insane. And he just wanted it there. Uh Time Gazer. Uh Dragon Color, you could take over poison if you want, but poison, I'm telling you, it's pretty useless. I think you know what? No, I'm gonna take a color for poison. Color's effect is amazing, but the only reason I'm gonna play pro poison is because it'll go into uh, uh, harmonizing will turn into a one card uh, one card uh a one card you told me to double, but what I like to do instead is harmonize and bring out Time Gazer, and then that's a Yazi, and Yazi brings out the Merriman, which also helps me you totally double incredibly easily, but plus an extra pop, plus free tokens. Gazer, one Cerberus, because sometimes you want to pop your Ravine, or your Babel, or your Dark Contract, which you get from Kepler so easily, to add, but then you won't be able to draw. This is how you play around hand traps, cool Kepler. Imagine they hand trap you three times, two times, it happens all the time, all the time, especially this format. Electrum. Uh, so like you go, but you still have plus cards like contract. So you manage to make an electro, but you have nothing to pop in your scale. You pop the contract, you draw a card, you add server, servers get jackal. Now you have jackal and a low scale or high scale, doesn't matter because you're gonna be able to pendulum summon threes, which you can do very easily. I'm telling you, gauge is always in the next deck somehow. Or uh, if you have a four and a zero, something out the Kepler again, or four and eight, you're always gonna like with awkward hands, you still get in somehow Orcas combo, you know, like it's insane or guard dragon combo. And Demia, get zero, Thomas. Uh, Thomas, the play with DD is Kepler into Contract. Contract into Thomas, and then Thomas gets back Kepler. So that one Kepler equal three cards. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. And then the Contract stays forever to keep adding. One Nightmare, one Horror, one Skeleton. Nightmare, Horror, and Horror are great to draw. Skeleton, just pendulum on something or save it for Mermaid. Doesn't matter. Distrudo. And again, look, you play four discard outlets with Ravine and six Pendulum Calls. That's 10. Plus triple Allure, that's 13. If you draw one of the Orcas and one of those 13 cards, get rid of it if you really don't want it. But having Nightmare, Horror, or Skeleton is amazing. The Pseudo, great. Triple Shrine, Foolish, four. Triple Ravine, Terraforming. I wish I could play two Terraforming. You just need to make sure Dark Room, the Pseudo are going around going second. Going second's huge. You want to make sure you have the Pseudo. Your opponent is going to think you're main decking uh, Yaz, uh, Yazi and Mare Mare. So they're going to make sure the Pseudo never resolves ever, which is why I don't main deck it. They're going to make sure the Pseudo never resolves. Going second, okay, fine. Put it in going second, guaranteed. Especially because you side level three tuners, so you make Mare, Mare so easy. Triple Master, Triple Panko, Triple Alliance, Double Contract. You need to play two instead of one. Because if you hard draw a contract, go Kepler. Kepler needs to add another contract to plus even more. One upside, Triple into four, Triple Allure. Don't play Desires with Orcas cards. Double or nothing, absolutely necessary. Best card in the entire deck, Kepler's number two. Then Servant number three. Babel, it's just way better than Crescendo. Return is an option, but Babel is just amazing. Going first and second, it could... Going first, it clears both their interruptions. Going second, it clears two more cards. Triple no material, best side deck card in the game, I think. Triple draw. If it wasn't for the Trishila hand loop, I would play zero hand traps whatsoever. I prefer Sphere and Lava Golem versus Thunders. If you play correctly and take out the cards that uh, you need to draw, search with, Thunders are shit. Thunders are garbage. You're going to end up with getting rid of one of your cards. They're going to have two Spell Negates and two Colossuses. Fuck the Colossuses, they're nothing. If you take out your, your like, you take out these 12 search spells. So, sorry, Terraforming, you take out these 12. Terraforming, these 10 over here, and double or nothing. You take out those 12 for these 12 because double or nothing, they never have a monster under 2000 attack. For these 12 hand traps and a Mirror Mirror, so that's 13 cards you put in for them. Like, and then you take out your search cards. If you have like a Kepler, it doesn't matter, you pen something because Gate Zero will probably be there anyways, or Electrum or whatever, or you just have it as a Pendulum Monster. You don't need to take them out or save one contract. Yeah, you save one contract just in case. Uh, next, yeah, double contract, one up, start triple, yeah, one Bobble, one double or nothing. Okay, triple no, triple Droll, triple Ogre, triple Ash. It's the best lineup. Triple Droll, Triple No Material are the only hat traps that end turns. Nothing else ends turns. Lancia doesn't do shit versus Crusadius. Uh, Ogre and Ash are the only good level 3 hat traps. Uh, Bell sucks this format. Uh, Null None sucked every format. And Reaper just sucks too. It's okay, Reaper, but don't play it. And the, you want level 3 tuners to pendulum summon it going second if you draw an influx of hand traps. If you draw a Droll and Ogre, use your Droll, save the Ogre if you possibly can. Because that's how you make Mirror Mirror as well. These are all Mary Mary tar stuff. When uh, Needle Viper comes out, I'm gonna be main decking these because you they're both offensive and defensive. Action deck. You got B Cop, Electrum. B Cop's a 15th card I added. You could take it out if you want, but I like B Cop. It's very versatile. Uh, LP, Triple Burst, Agar Pain, Vortex, Seal. No oh, God Dragon Package. Nightmare Phoenix, Mermaid. Both great first or second. Galatea, Dengirsu, Langirsu. The only stuff you need. Don't play second Galatea. It's a waste of a, sl of a slot. Boral Sword, Utopia Packet, going second. You put in Karibo and Yazi for two of the Guard Dragon Package. I like to take out Triple Burst and Agar Pain. 
You save LP in case they play trip uh, in case they play uh, Salaman Greats, Sky Strikers, or if they're playing uh, yeah, just those two decks. That's it. Any de any mo any deck that gives you an arrow. Because if they give you an arrow, you can make LP going second. If not, slide out the guard dragons. I'm telling you, they won't resolve going second. So you'd rather just have these. All right, that's the deck guys. It's absolutely insane. Play card for card. Subscribe if you guys got this far. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.